Okay, hello everyone, I'm Manon. Welcome to the first video from the garden. Today we are making crepes, so I thought I would share the recipe with you live. So it's not technically live because by the time I edit this video and publish it, it might be a few more hours after that, but that's okay. So the first thing that we want to do, of course, is to go on from the garden blog.wixsite.com forward slash from the garden and then you are able to access the recipe. So just to let you know, you have to go to the recipe in the menu at the top of the blog and then it's under breakfast because I like to enjoy my crepes for breakfast. But of course it's really in any meal kind of recipe. And then you will see French pancakes recipe or in French recette de crêpe à la française. So I'm going to make this video in English just because I'm guessing that most of my French followers already know how to make crepes. But Stay tuned, uh, I see you guys, don't worry, and uh, I will make something in French very soon. Okay, so once we pull up the video, the um, recipe we have, I'm going to stay at the bottom, the top of the recipe for the recipe in English. So for 20 pancakes, which are really called crêpes. So you need 500 grams of flour. Uh, yes, I use all of my measurements in flour, and wow, this is hard, um, in grams metrics because I have a scale. Uh, this was given to me very probably cost $10 uh, at any supermarket. So I'd highly recommend it, especially if you're looking to make something that's French, it will really save you a lot of time and it's going to be so much easier. So 500 grams of flour. I have my flour here use Robin Hood. So I'm going to use my scale and my bowl. Put it in it, put, make the tear. Make sure that it's in grams. And then you pour 500 grams of flour. So you can tell that I cook and bake a lot because I ran out of flour. But of course, I got another one. Okay, perfect. So this will make you a lot of grapes, so you will have leftovers for uh, uh, the next day for sure, unless you're very hungry. So we have 500 grams. If you can sift it, do it. I don't have a sieve, so I cannot do it. Next step is to add the sugar. So this is the sugar that we use. Bring the scale back to zero, and we need 100 grams. And then we're going to mix that together. If you have a wooden spoon, that's great. It's time to use it. I don't. I just moved into a new apartment. So I'm cooking with very basic um, um, tools. So I'm going to use... I have a whisk, so I will use a whisk. This really shows you that crepes are so easy. You can really make it with barely any tools in the house and you probably already have all of the ingredients at home. So that's why it is my favorite recipe. Okay, so the next step, we're going to make a little well in the center for our eggs. So I I like to use my hands for a lot of things. If you don't, just do it with your spatula. And we need five eggs. I don't think I have enough of this carton, but I have four, so I need another one. Whenever you're baking or cooking anything, it's nice to get your eggs out of the fridge earlier so that they have time to get back to room temperature because technically, or usually, that's what a recipe calls for. It's better for cooking. It's fine if you don't. I'm going to try to show you. I'm filming with my laptop, but I'm going to try to show you what it's supposed to look like. There you go. Okay, so now we want to mix it. It's best with a wooden spoon because with the waste, it kind of gets in the middle of it and then it's mess. So again, it's the only thing that I have. It's fits. the only thing that you have. No problem. You can still make crepes. Don't worry. So we mix. So the next thing that we want to do is to slowly whisk in the milk. So we need one liter of milk. 
this is the proof that I live in Canada. This is the mail that we have here. Okay, so we need one liter. Again, this is the only uh, measure that I have. So I'm gonna do 250. I'm running out of everything for this video. This is great. Okay, we put in the new baby and the jug. There you go. Okay, so we're going to slowly pour the milk in the open position here. If you have a blender, you can do all of that in your blender and it will make your life 10 times easier. Canola oil. I do not have canola oil, so I am going to put just some um, melted butter, and that will do the trick. Oh no! Don't worry, honestly, the crepes are pretty forgiving. The recipe. If you don't have canola, oil, just use melted butter. And now we want to add our flavor. So if you're making uh, savory crepes, I would wait to add the vanilla extract, orange blossom, I'm going to use orange blossom water, for after once you're done eating your um, savory crepe. So that's what I'm going to do, because tonight we will have both. So I'm going to make my savory crepes, and then when I'm done making them, I'm gonna save maybe third or so of the batter, really depends on the ratio that you're looking for here, but and then I will add my flavor. So I'm not overly satisfied right now with the smoothness of my batter, so I'm just going to put it a little bit in a blender so that it's real smooth. So I just want to let everyone know that you do not need a blender to make crepes. I need it because I don't have a sieve to sift my flour. Um, and I don't have the proper tools to make it nicely. But if you do have a blender and you are struggling as well to get a smooth batter, the blender is your friend. Otherwise, I've always made it without a blender at home in France. Never had any problems. So now that your batter is all ready, let me show you. So we have something, we try to get out of the light. Right. So you are supposed to let it rest for uh, between half an hour and an hour. Don't particularly know why. My mom always let it rest a little bit. I don't really have time to let it rest. And if you don't, that's totally fine. We're still going to make crepes and they're still going to be amazing and delicious. So now the next step is to get organized to cook them. So we need a pan. The important thing about the pan is it has to be very hot when you put the batter. So and the second thing to know about this stage is that when you make your first crepes, they're not gonna look very good. And that's typically because your pan is not hot enough. Hot enough. After a few crepes, it gets better. No worries again. Those first crepes are always hidden. Uh, if you have uh, some little ones, you can uh, have them try it. It's still very good. It just doesn't look amazing. But um, then it's definitely going to get better the more, the hotter your pan is. So make sure to have a hot pan. So you turn it on. That would be your first step. Okay, so we have our pan. And the burner is about medium, medium high. So the first thing they need to do is to grab your canola oil if you have it, if you don't, just like I do, grab some butter. And I think another thing that's important in that stage is to get some, um, I forgot how this was called, you know what I mean, just so that you put some of your oil, some of your grease on it, and then that way you can grease your pan and it just is a faster, more efficient way of greasing your pan every probably two 
the three crepes just because we don't want any burnt crepes. So, when one of your uh, pan is uh, getting hotter, grab a plate and also some aluminum. You want to have the foil now, you basically want to have everything ready now because once your pan is hot, you're going to keep making crepes for a little while. So just make sure that you have everything ready. So grab some foil about the size of your plate to cover your crepes, uh, the ones that are already made to keep them hot. Grab yourself a spatula to flip your crepes and a big spoon to pour the batter. And I just want to show you how it's going to work there. That's bad. So, we take about a big spoonful, depending on the size of your pen. Mine is pretty big. And what you want to do is to move your wrist as the batter is on the pan so that it gets even on everywhere in the pan. I'm not explaining this properly, but this is why I'm making a video. So, here we go. See? So, by moving my wrist, I'm allowing all of the batter to go and spread evenly. There you go, on your pan. Then you put it in, back on the stove, and now you wait. Okay, so let me show you here. It's getting closer to what we are aiming for. Nice. So now I'm comfortable with that color, so I'm going to flip it. I will show you after another way of flipping it like that, exactly this movement. Okay, so what I like to call the French flip, because this is how the French do it, to flip your crepe, instead of using the spatula, you can just lift the crepe. So let's try. There we go. Beautiful. So it takes a little bit of practicing. You'll have a lot of fun making it, um, but you don't really don't have to do it. You can just use a spatula and it works just fine. So you basically repeat this operation for until you run out of uh, batter, basically. So it does take a little bit of time. I'm making a lot of crepes because we love crepes here, but you really, you can just have the recipe, no problem. So I will see you later. going as fast as you need it to, get another pan. Okay, so now we are about an hour after I finish all the crates. This is what they look like. So probably not my uh, best, but you know, I was busy. Uh, almost burned down the house as well, but I made it and I have beautiful crepes. You see you have a lot of crepes, right? So You have plenty of food for the days or the hours to come depending on how hungry you are. I'm very hungry But now it's 7 p.m. So I'm gonna eat. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next recipe. Bye. Bye